Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So a few months ago, I did a transfer tape comparison and I compared Cricut brand transfer tape with a ton of other brands of transfer tape. And I'll link to that video below. But I wanted to take it one step further today, compare the transfer tape I liked last time to things like contact paper, masking tape, painter's tape, tons of different things that you can use as transfer tape. So let's look at how do they work and how do they compare price-wise. So let's take a look at all of the brands we're gonna use. And you can always find all the links for everything I'm using in the description below. You might have to click read more. So let's take a look at what we're gonna compare. Here are the brands we're gonna look at. So first of all is the one from Vinyl Ease. Now this is the one from my last video that I really liked. So I thought it would be kind of a baseline comparison. This is actual transfer tape. It's from Frisco Craft. They actually sent me this after my last video and said like this was one of their ones that works really well. We're gonna put that to the test. Then I have clear transparent contact paper, the contact brand. Then I see a ton of people use this. You can get it at Walmart, Easy Liner, Clear Laminate. It says removable adhesive on it, and it's from Duck Brand. And then I wanted to give some, just like tape a try. So I'm gonna try masking tape, the Frog Tape brand of Painter's Tape, and then Scotch brand of Painter's Tape. And this masking tape is Scotch brand, just in case anyone wants to know that. So we are going to put removable vinyl. So this was a sheet of Cricut removable vinyl and I cut it into this like man mandala pattern and I cut the same pattern. We did it the same for all the tests and we are going to apply each of those to a shadow box and I'm going to clean the shadow box in between each application with rubbing alcohol and then I'm just going to use this large scraper from Cricut. So we're going to start, let's start with our baseline of Vinyl Ease and we'll move through the rest of these. And that way we can kind of see how the Vinyl Ease performs on this um, project and then we can move on from there. So this is a piece of the Vinyl Ease and for each of these I'm going to take my vinyl, put it over the top, rub twice across the front, flip it over, rub twice across the back, and then peel the backing paper back. And what I'd like to do is count how many pieces are left on my backing paper that don't come off onto the transfer tape. And I have one, two, three. So I'm gonna put that back down, run across that a couple more times, and now it looks like everything is transferred. So now I have everything on the vinyl ease transfer tape. So I'm gonna put that on my shadow box and we'll just put that in location. Again, clean and dry glass. We're gonna rub three times across and then peel that transfer tape back and once again, if anything's left on the transfer tape, I would count that. So there's our baseline of vinyl ease and how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the glass, clean the glass once again, and we'll move on to our other experiments. Here we have the roll from Frisco Craft, and I just cut a piece off of it once again. We'll add it to our vinyl twice, twice on the back, and then we'll just peel back the backing paper. Looks like one. So just one piece was left on the backing paper. So I'm just gonna apply that again. Go once across. All right, so I went over those pieces a couple more times and now I have everything off that backing paper. And now I'll just apply it to our shadow box. Again, I cleaned and dried it three times across. And we'll just peel back the transfer tape. And everything transfers really well. So I would say this 
Frisco Craft is comparable to the Vinyl Ease. And once again, I will link to everything I'm using below. So now I'm gonna get this off the glass and we'll move on to the contact paper. All right, so this one is just regular, clear, transparent contact paper. Just remove it from its backing paper. Apply it to the front of her vinyl. And again, twice, twice, and peel that backing paper back. It looks like one, so four of those stayed on. So we'll just apply that back, burnish it a couple times. And now everything is on the contact paper. So we'll just take our shadow box, again, clean and dry. Apply this to the front and go over it one, two, three times and then peel the contact paper back. So actually super similar to the other brands of transfer tape. Um, we will talk about pricing at the end, but that's how contact paper works transferring vinyl to glass. So now let's take a look at the Duck brand Easy Liner and see how it works. And now for the Duck brand liner. So I have my vinyl, and again, this is like contact paper, so it has a backing on it. Just peel that backing away. Stick it right to the vinyl. Once again, we'll go across twice on the front, twice on the back, and then peel back our backing paper. And this one, actually everything stuck to the liner on the first try. So that's amazing. So let's see how it works sticking to our shadow box. Again, I cleaned and dried this. Just add that to our shadow box three times across the front. And we'll just peel this back. and everything stuck right to the glass. So overall, very impressed with the Duck brand Easy Liner. So let's take a look at some masking and painter's tape and see if they work. All right, so let's use just blue masking tape first. And what I'm gonna do is go over this with tape in strips. And I'm just overlapping these slightly so it kind of make one big sheet. Then once again, I'm gonna rub twice. Twice on the back. And we'll just peel away the spacking. and everything actually stuck the first time. So now let's use it to add to our clean and dry glass. I'll just go over that three times. And then I'm just gonna peel, just try peeling each of these separately. And that one, the masking tape sort of ripped. It is leaving everything on the glass. And then just kind of work with that ripped piece. And there we go. So in a pinch, painter's tape can definitely work as transfer tape. Let's go ahead and try the frog tape painter's tape and see if there's any difference. So next step, I'm gonna use the same method, but with the green frog tape. And we'll just rub that twice, twice on the back, and peel back 
the backing paper. Everything stuck right to the frog tape the first time. And then we'll just add it to our glass. Three times across. And we'll just peel these back. So frog tape also makes excellent transfer tape. So one more experiment, let's just try regular scotch masking tape and see what happens. So finally I'm gonna do the same thing with just regular masking tape. it in the same way then peel back the backing once again everything came off on the tape so now we'll apply it to our glass then just try and remove that tape So there you have it. Regular masking tape works as transfer tape as well. All right, so now that you see how everything works, let's talk pricing. So the vinyl ease that I liked so well from the last video is about like 25 cents a square foot. The best, as in some of the other brands worked better, but they were much more expensive. So the vinyl ease was sort of that happy medium for me where it worked really well and it was super inexpensive. So that's why I've been really enjoying it and really liking it. So the Frisco Craft, I would say worked similar to the Vinyl Ease that I liked so well last time, but the Frisco Craft is a little bit more expensive. So right now, these are right now like current prices that I found online, it was like 32 cents a square foot. So there was a difference there. Now the contact paper, um, it's actually kind of expensive because you don't get like a ton on a roll. So it was like way more like a buck a square foot. And plus like it didn't work that great. So I, the contact paper's out for me. But this Duck brand Easy Liner, super inexpensive. So it's only like 16 cents a square foot. And you saw how well it works. Like it works really, really well. This I think seriously is my new favorite transfer tape. And it's not even transfer tape. It's meant to be like a removable shelf liner. Works amazing. And I really like that it's so, like you can pick it up anywhere. So I'm gonna leave an Amazon link below, but you can pick this up like at Walmart and places like that, like just when you're out. Just look in like the shelf liner. And just be sure to look for that duck brand um, to get the same brand that I'm using. Now, although painter's tape, masking tape, that type of thing works, it's actually like more expensive. The Scotch painter's tape is actually about the same. So it's kind of tough to compare because you have to, you know, like use individual strips. But just like as good as I could compare, I tried to compare pricing. And the Scotch brand is almost equivalent to the price of like the vinyl ease. So it would be the cheapest. And then the frog tape was more expensive and the masking tape was actually kind of more expensive. And that was just, me looking online at pricing like you might be able to find scotch masking tape on sale somewhere you might love it more power to you not a problem there so i hope this helped you pick a transfer tape whether that is something that is intended to be a transfer tape or whether that is something that is intended to be a shelf liner but works so darn well and is so darn inexpensive so right now I'm gonna start using this Duck Brand Easy Liner on my projects. I hope that you find it works for yours as well. If you liked this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments about anything we've covered today, any questions, anything like that, feel free to ask those below. Maybe you have a different favorite transfer tape, feel free to drop that below. I might do a third video, you can never tell. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We do videos like this all the time, especially like these comparisons. It's my favorite, favorite thing to do. So if you like that sort of thing, be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube so you don't miss any of the videos. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.